Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews Channel and today we are going to check the Notorious 2004 Cadillac DeVille V8 for a parasitic draw. I'm going to do another one right now, right in front of you guys, okay? Okay, it is pouring out. It, it kind of stopped a little bit, but it's still coming down pretty hard. So I am getting wet. I did half set this up already. Okay, here's the multimeter right there. And I did put... I put the multimeter on amps, obviously, okay, and you have to put the, the red lead in the 10 amp hole, okay, and I put the one from the 10 amp hole in the multimeter to the negative. You always want to do this with the negative, okay, and I just, you know, I just put the wire or the probe, I tucked it in there, okay. Then you take the other, the other part, which is right here, okay? Now I'm gonna put this on the battery here. Okay, you saw a little sparkage. Now, let's see what it does. Oop, it fell out. Okay, now it's showing. Okay, it's gonna probably go down a little bit. Let's see it when it calms down a little bit. Then we're gonna check for, see which, if, if there is a parasitic drawer or not. Okay, now what you always want to do, just so you know, if you have a hood light, you have to shut it off. You have to put everything to sleep. So my, the door right here, I am going to close it. Make pretend that it's closed. Okay, okay. I close the door pretending that it's closed. Now let's see if this number goes down at all. It should, a little bit. It should a lot, actually. Yeah, please bear with me, guys. I'm getting very wet out here. Okay, I think it's going down. Okay, it is going down. Okay. It's still at one... Oh, wait, actually it's going down even lower. Okay. Oops. The probe fell out. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Okay, I put it back in. Okay. It's going to have to go to sleep again. Hang on, guys. Yeah, I didn't alligator clamp it into the hole there, so it might... So it has a loose connection. That's why it popped out. Now this number should go down. Give it a couple seconds. There it goes. Okay. Still at about, what is it? 0 0.69, 0 0.70, around there. Which is a little bit high, you know, so there's a tiny bit of a drain on here. I think they said the number you want to see is, you know, between 2 and 4 or something. I don't know. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. All right. So we see it's at, it's pretty much timed out now about 0 0.42, 0 0.43 around there. Okay. Okay. I was telling you guys in a previous video that I got a remote start put in my car. Uh, it has to be, I don't know, it was a while ago. And it seemed like I was having problems ever since then. It could have been in my head, but... Actually, let me, uh, bear with me one second. Okay, I want to see if I could, I'm going to actually have to pull the wire. The wire is actually under here, but unfortunately, I don't have four hands. So, bear with me one second, guys. Let me see. I'm going to see if I could, hang on a second. Okay. Okay, let's see what I can do up here. I just want to pull... Oh, actually, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, it's un. It's actually unhooked. I'm gonna plug it in right now. Okay. I'm gonna plug it in just to see where we are. Okay. Now, what was it? 0 0.42. I believe it said 0 0.42. The multimeter. Let's close all the doors. And let's see. Okay. Now, obviously, since I opened the doors and hooked that back up, it went up. Now, let's see if it goes a little bit less than 0.42 or 0.43. Or, I mean, I should say, let's see if it goes up. Because this remote start has been hooked up all these months. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah went all the way down. 
and that's when it's hooked in. When it's hooked up, it's weird. When it's hooked up, it's reading 0 0.01, 0 0.02, okay? And right now, it obviously timed out at point, point 0.1, point 0.2, which is a pretty much, it's on the money. But that's what I was saying. This remote start, there's obviously something with the wiring. It's obviously linked to that. So obviously I'm going to keep this hooked up because, you know, a lot of times I also have an OBD port, you know, like just like everybody else does. I have the OBD port down there. And since this is a 2004, if you go to hook up a, a, um, like one of those, the, um, OB2, the OBD2 scanners in an older vehicle, you actually have to unhook the, um, the car remote start hook, uh, like the wire I just showed you, you have to unhook it in order to use it. Like only in some older, mo um, like older model vehicles, uh, that you have to do that. The scanner will not work if your remote start is hooked up in the older vehicle for whatever reason. That's what I was always told. And every time you you put it on with the remote start hooked up, it just keeps scanning and scanning and scanning, like on the OB uh, on the OBD, and it won't stop scanning. It'll just keep scanning and not stop. So I called up where I got it done and they said yeah Mike unfortunately but in the older vehicles um, you're gonna have to um, unhook your 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 uh, remote start just to scan your car and then hook it back up but so many times you know of course after I use my scanner I actually um, you know I never hooked it back up and I would come back a couple days later and the car would be dead now I think we know why. Yeah, it's still showing, you know, 1.17. So that's, that's, I mean, to me, that's pretty much, wow. So maybe this might help somebody down the line if you're having some sort of a battery drain problem. You know, if you're having a battery drain, you, I mean, you, you may want to check that because I always thought that, that if the wire is hooked up, Maybe it's causing a parasitic draw, you know, because the remote start is hooked up. It's going to be taking more power, you know. But in my case, in the 2004 Cadillac DeVille, when it's hooked up, there's no parasitic draw. When it's unhooked is when there's a little parasitic draw. It's, I mean, it's, um, it's enough to kill my battery every couple days. So, so, yeah, guys, I mean, you know, it's kind of weird how that is, but... Let me actually, um, it is raining. That's why I keep going back by the garage. I'm getting all wet here. But let me just, um, wait, let me, I forgot the door. I gotta, okay. All right, we're gonna get all this out of here. Okay, get the multimeter off. Oh, I'm getting wet. Oh my God, I'm getting a back, oh, I'm getting a back shower. Okay, we're over here. Okay, give me a second, guys. Okay, while we're here, boom. Okay. All right, while we're here. Okay. Now we have a tester here. Oh my god, I'm getting wet. Woo, doggy! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Got a little excited because I'm getting wet. <laughs> Okay, so we are here, ready for Oops, where are we? Alright, so let's test what the power is in there. This is showing. So 12.1. Alright, well it's better than it used to be. At, what was it, I guess 11.6, 11.7, even lower. Now we know the car is going to start every time, which is pretty cool. So I guess... Basically, we figured it out, I guess. Hopefully, that is the problem. You know? But, but again, guys, this is Michael with the H&M Reviews channel. Click that subscribe button, guys. It's free. Why not, right? I mean, all the views my videos get and the subscribers, 
it doesn't quite add up. Like the algorithm is way off the algorithm. All right, so just click the subscribe button. What do you have to lose? I'm teaching you all this little extra stuff, you know, all the YouTube videos and, you know. Yeah, so click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon and click all so you never miss an upcoming video. All right, guys? So, yeah, I mean, hopefully this is going to help somebody who may have a parasitic draw or may not. Um, you know, hopefully it saves you guys a couple of dollars. You know, the, the test lights and the multimeters, they work wonders, guys. They really do. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not mocking car starters and this and that because there's so many good car starters out there. I mean, I have a good one, too. But just in my certain vehicle, my 2004 Cadillac DeVille, I was told from the get-go that there may be problems down the line, you know, with compatibility issues. You know, but it was professionally installed. And it lasted me a while, but like I said, when it's unhooked, when I forget to unhook it back up after I scan the car for codes, that's when there's issues of not starting a couple days later, a week later it might not start. You know, stuff like that, but, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Well, you got to check things but yeah so so hopefully this video helps somebody you know that's why I'm here to help people because I don't want them to go through the things I went through you know I mean it took me months and months to figure you know certain things out you know I mean now you guys can watch these videos and you know figure it out for yourself you know it didn't cost me any money to fix it I, I had the multimeter already you know and that's it I mean Let's actually, let's see. It kind of stopped raining a little bit. It is still raining, so I don't want to get my camera soaking wet. Because then I can't make videos no more, guys. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, with the multimeter, I just wanted to teach you guys. Um, You know, you put it on the amp section right down here, and you put it on, t on the lowest, which is 10. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're always going to put the red lead in the 10 amp side, right? Where it says 10 amp down there. Put it in there because usually it's on this side it's on this side but when you're testing for a parasitic draw you put it on the 10 amp side okay and you usually want to do this on the negative cable you know just in case something shorts out you know you're gonna ground out nothing <laughs> you know so you'll be fine but if you do it on the positive side you know there's always risk you know so yeah so let's let's just hook up just for shits and giggles let's hook up my top line and see what it says now even though before it did say it did say uh replace a couple times and a couple times it did say charge but when the triple a guy looked at it the last time it did say replace so let's check it out see what it says Okay, battery test, regular flooded, CCA, cold cranking amps, and it is 800. Let's see what it says. Okay, testing, testing. Good, recharge. Good, recharge. The other day with the AAA guy, it did say replace. But that is before I check for the parasitic draw for the second time. I did a parasitic draw test not too, too long ago, but it didn't, I mean, you know, it was me and a friend of mine who did it, you know, and everything seemed to be okay, but we were watching some videos online, and we thought the numbers we had were pretty, you know, were pretty normal, but, but other uh, YouTubers thought the numbers that we had were a little bit high, so that's why I decided to do it again, you know. But like I told you the story with the, uh, the AAA guy, you know, with his uh, Shoemaker lead acid battery jump starter, you know, he just couldn't get this old jalopy to start up. No matter what he did, he must have did it five or six times under the hood, jump starting, and then in the back seat a couple times, and his jump starter would not jump start this vehicle, okay? And for whatever reason, I mean, I don't know if it's old, I mean, even though he told me it jumps little small trucks all the time, so obviously there's something, excuse me, obviously there's something going on, you know, with, with jump starting, you know, certain uh, jump starters just have an issue, and then other ones have no issue, it's weird, 
but his shoemaker, you know, just had an issue and it would not start this, would not start. So, alrighty guys, well this is going to be a wrap, alright? Again, click that subscribe button guys, it's always free man, come on. Hook me up, hook me up, alright? I'll show you a lot more of these videos, alright? Click the all button. That's after you click the bell icon, so you never miss an upcoming video, alright? And again, I'm Michael. Peace out.